Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show the game between Jonan and Igor Natav. This game was played in France in 1999. Jonan had white pieces and he started with e4. Natav played c5. Knight to f3. Knight to c6. d4. Pawn takes pawn. Knight takes on d4. And now e5, attacking the knight. Knight to b5, and the threat is knight to d6, check. Black played d6, preventing that. c4, bishop to e7, knight from 1 to c3, kicking the knight back. Knight to a3, f5, bishop to d3, and black played f4, gaining the space on the board and also opening the long diagonal for the light square bishop. g3, knight to f6, pawn takes pawn, pawn takes pawn, and bishop takes pawn, and white is a pawn up, but white's king's position looks a bit shaky. Black casts at king's side, Bishop to g3, knight to g4. What is the knight doing here? Bishop to e2, attacking the knight. And how should black continue? We have reached the most critical position of the game. It is black to move. What would you play in this position if you had black pieces? If you wish, you can even pause this video and you can try to find the best move for black. Are you ready? What did you find? Maybe knight to e5 is not a bad move or maybe knight to f6. Black sacrificed the knight on f2. Well, it is not hard to see that the knight can be sacrificed on f2. But how many people would dare to do it? Would you dare? And how many people would know how to follow up after the sacrifice? You don't sacrifice the knight and then hope to be lucky. It is white to move. Queen to d5 check. King to h8. This is very interesting now. Play a bit white pieces, John Nunn, is looking eight moves deep. That is an incredible skill to be able to calculate eight moves ahead. Okay, so he calculated after he captured the knight. He saw as far as this position, that is move 24. And in this position, that's all in his mind's eye. He saw that black can capture the bishop on f3. That is check. And then king to g1. And then black has nothing better than perpetual check. For example, after queen to e3, king to g2, check, and king to g1. So he wasn't afraid. Of this variation. Okay, let's go back to our position at move 16. Black played knight to b4, attacking the queen. Queen to h5, and now the exchange sacrifice. Rook takes on f2. King takes rook. Bishop to h4, check. King to g2. Attacking the queen with pawn. Queen to f3. Check. King to f1. And another brilliant move by black. What would you play in this position if you had black pieces? This is what Natav played. Bishop to h3 sacrificing the bishop 
to clear the path for the rook. Queen takes bishop. Rook to f8 check. Bishop to f3. Queen to e3. Queen takes bishop. This position is the position that Zhou Nan has seen many moves earlier. In this position. So, he wasn't afraid. But black has a quiet move, which gives him a decisive attack. And that is knight to d3. Knight to d5, attacking the queen. It is black to move. What would you play in this position if you had black pieces? Nataf captured the bishop with queen. Even stronger move is rook takes on f3. And the game wouldn't last very long. For example, after king to g2, queen to e2 check, king to g1. And if white queen was not defending f2, then queen to f2 checkmate. So g5, deflecting the queen, finito. Okay, so why then black, who played so brilliantly, didn't see the easier win? Well, this is why. Black saw this position earlier in his mind's eye. And he knew that queen takes bishop on f3 is winning. So, when he got to this position, he didn't even look for another move. He just followed the variation he calculated earlier in his head. So, we have queen takes on f3. This is also winning. It just takes a bit longer. King must move. King to g1. Knight to f2. Threat is knight to h3. Check. King to f1. This is terrible position for white. Queen takes rook check. King to e2. Queen takes rook on a1. And white resigned. Let's play a couple of variations just for fun. White could have continued with knight to f6 threatening checkmate. Then queen takes pawn on b2 check. King to e3 and rook takes knight on f6 is winning. And there is another continuation that is knight to e3. Again queen takes pawn on b2. Knight from e to c2. Queen to e5. Perhaps knight to b1. Knight takes pawn on e4. Knight to d2. Rook to f2 check. Queen takes rook. Knight takes queen. King takes knight. Check. King to e3. And queen takes knight. And the horse would have no chance against Her Majesty the Queen. That is why, in this position, white resigned. This game was voted the best game of Informant 75. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess. And bye for now.